so I'm going to show you how I was able to create this money background, okay? So it is super easy. You can change up the colors. You can even add in some digital paper that you already bought to make this effect. As you see, I got like a, a, a holograph um, design going on. So um, I'm going to show you how I was able to achieve this where you can make your own background from, you know, grabbing pictures off the Internet make sure you know they're high resolution and you can actually you know alter it you know modify it okay so also you can you know maybe perhaps you can sell your digital paper but um this right here i wouldn't advise selling this because i'm getting it off the internet i'm getting off of google so you know i will give it as a freebie now if you're doing it yourself and you're doing it from scratch then yes you can sell it Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and go to File, New. And I'm going to just start with a 12 by 12. And that's really the standard uh, digital paper. Okay, so um, I went to Google and I just typed in Money Background. And this is the one that I like. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to insert it um, into Photoshop. Okay. And I'm just going to double tap and make sure everything is good. Okay, so before I even do anything, I want this to be, like you can see the colors, but I want this to be like a black and white image. Okay, so by doing that, I would have to go to my image, adjustment, black and white, and hit OK. Now you don't see the color, you don't see the green color that you saw you know on the um, dollar signs I mean the money okay so this is completely black and white okay so now being that that is black and white honestly what you can do is you can go ahead and draw a rectangle over it make sure you cover it up okay and I want to change this color to of course you know we're gonna do pink like a hot pink right all right, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to look to my right in my layers panel and I'm going to find a fill. And the fill is set to 100%, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to knock this down and decrease it to my liking until I'm able to see the money, okay? Okay, so 63 is good. So now, that is really, that is just all I just did. Honestly, I just make it a black and white image. And I just draw a shape that I wanted and choose the color that I wanted. And decrease my fill. So if you want to change the color, let's see, if you want to do like a, this uh, blue See, there you go. Or if you want to do purple, you know, or you want to do red, green, you know, so you can do that. So now, here is that. So that's one thing. So now just say if you want to pull in like a pre, you already bought a digital paper and you want to try it out. So I'm going to go ahead and find uh, my... Uh, digital paper that I bought off of, I think it's photohacks, um, dot com, I believe. So, um, I'm going to find mine. And let's see. All right, let's get one. Let's do this one. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to adjust it. So it can cover up the whole entire thing. Okay. And I'm just going to go back to my fill. And I'm just going to decrease it. To my liking. And there you go.
and you see how simple that is and of course you know once you're done you can always go ahead and go to layer and do flatten image okay and then you can create this um, you can use this background in anything I actually um, used it in let's see if I got it what did I use it in uh, let's see here we go so I use it in a flyer you can do it in any any type of design you know you want as you can see I did the hot pink money and of course I use this as my background so it's a lot of things that you can do with these backgrounds um, just just something fun and I want you to sh you know show you what you can do you can change it um, you you can change it using your digital um, paper or you could just change it as a solid color or if you're doing something for a, a party that involves with a, you know money or anything or like a casino you know stuff like that so you know I just wanted to show you something real quick and easy on how you can do um, these uh, money backgrounds okay so thank you for watching